Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to have another Persian dish called Shirin Polo. Shirin Polo means sweet rice. Okay, so for making this one, there are common uh, ingredients for, because there are so many ways they can make it. I mean, different city in Iran, they have their little bit extra ingredients on that, which is not very important. The main is a rice and chicken and that's what we're going to make and I'm going to go over the ingredients that there's some places they add carrots which is I'm not going to put in that because the carrots has their own uh, food which is a carrots uh, polo rice and carrots and some add the barberry into that still is not going to go with what I'm making so let's go over the ingredients and start making it the shirin polo that I'm preparing right now, I'm making that for three people. So you can add it less and more, so according to your uh, needs. I have here three cups of rice. I wash this already and put the salt and soak in the water, make it ready to uh, make our rice. I have three pieces of chicken, which is actually is a three quarter of chicken leg and thigh. You can use any part of chicken that you like, breast or just make it cut separate, it's up to you totally. For making this shirin polo, we need these ingredients here. I uh, just made some of the orange peel. I uh, sleeved it, so we have to just washing and, you know, cooking it for a few times and drain. I show you how to prepare that. Th this is about three tablespoons and I have uh, a three to four tablespoons of almond uh, a, a sliver and I have three and I have almost three four spoon also f a, a, a pistachio slivers and I have two tablespoons of tomato paste here I have one teaspoon salt one teaspoon black pepper one teaspoon of turmeric I do need some cooking oil and one whole onion. Also, what I need for giving a much better taste, I have to have some of the sugar. Sugar, this is a three uh, tablespoon sugar. Again, if you need it to add or less, you just adjust it yourself. I have about four or five uh, tablespoon of liquid saffron and I have about three to four spoon also rose water. So let's go start making this. For the first thing we have to do, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to cut this also. This is going to be too big. I don't want it to. I slice this. First thing first, we are going to just saute a little bit of our onion, a little bit of oil. Not much, that's enough. All right, you don't have to do it uh, for a long time. If you do it for three, four minutes, then start just to uh, put this chicken to just get the sauteed a little bit. Just for each side, few minutes to a little bit get the color. You can add your salt, pepper and turmeric also right now. It's been about like a four or five minutes. Uh, now I'm adding the tomato paste here and just open a corner for it just to saute that a little bit to get the better color. Okay, we mix them all together now. Uh, 
Okay, this saffron, I'm going to, going to use a part for the chicken, part for the rice. So just put it right into the chicken here. Okay, we keep the rest. And I guess this is the best time to add the little water, not too much. You don't want it cooked with the water at the end you don't need any so that's good enough and let it cook for about like a 50 minutes one hour one hour ten depends on your chicken it how long it's gonna take then we meanwhile I'm going to prepare the rest of the ingredients and uh, show you how to all right, for prepare the orange peel because they, you don't want it to be better. So just put it in there and just put a little bit of water on top. Let it boil and in a few minutes after that, just change the water and do that three times. Then the taste is going to be good. While our chicken are cooking and uh, the orange peel sliver is getting uh, boiled, need to put water, some water, I already put this. When it starts boiling, we are going to add the rice that is already been washed and soaked with the salt about a couple hours ago. And I'm adding to the boiled water. And after it goes half a way cooked, you know that how to make Persian uh, rice. So I have to drain it and rinse, uh, rinse the rice with the water to get the extra starch and salt out, put it back again. So that's what we're going to do. So at the same time, all together is going to be ready. Okay, it's boiling. Let's add the rice in there. I think it's after six or seven minutes. We're gonna see if it start boiling again and the rices start coming up and going down. That's the time we have to drain the water. And you don't put the lids on it no more. When four or five minutes is boiling, so I have to change the water again to get the bitterness out. Okay, put it back and let it boil again. Okay, I meant by rice going up and down, this is what I mean, you see that? Start moving around. So it's getting there. Another minute or so, I'm gonna drain the rice. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's a time. All right, this is the pot that the rice is going to go back to, just a, about the five, six uh, tablespoon um, oil and a little bit of water. And also I'm going to add a little bit of saffron to make it even nicer, tadic. And today I'm going to use some of the bread for tadic. Okay. Yeah, I have some of the tin pita bread. I like to put it there. I actually just cut it to be fit in there. There you go. Then you go put the rice back into it. All right, as you see the rice go back to the pot for the second round of cooking. Okay, I already did it twice. This is the third time that I'm just you know, draining this. And uh, because of the taste, it's gonna change from bitterness to a good taste. 
All right, I put this aside till it's it's turned. Oh, by the way, here goes that uh, our rice. I like to just uh, make some poke here to for the steam comes through. In for the first five six minutes or whenever you see the steam, then uh, it's a high heat. Then reduce the heat. Then we're gonna put the uh, cloth, uh, kitchen cloth with the lead on it. Okay, as you see, our rice are steaming very well. So it's a time for just put that the kitchen cloth with the lid and <clears throat> then reduce the heat. Let it go for another mm, 40 minutes. And by the time our chicken are ready and we are going to prepare for the topping. So this is the butter I'm using. You, if you don't, you don't have to, but I like to put a little bit of water, butter, and just preventing of burning a little bit of the regular oil. We are going to saute this orange peel. And <clears throat> for preparing the rest of them, I put the rose water here. In both of those sliver almond and pistachio so I have to use another wooden spoon and also I like to put the sugar here also same time to try to make it caramelized with this Okay, now we can add the rest of our ingredients to it too. Mm. It smells fantastic now. All right, here's time for it. Just a few. Uh, a spoon of the saffron too. Okay, let it cook to reduce the liquid. Then we turn it off and waiting till the rice and our chicken are ready. All right, guys. If you remember, I said you know just put in a low on the rice for the low heat for the 40 minutes, 45 minutes is actually was the time that everything was ready, getting all at the same time. So I just put it in a dishes, and this is the show now. Our lovely shirin polo, it's just like a art. It's wonderful, beautiful looking, and also the tadic this time it came pretty nice in one piece. So if you like to make it Next time with the bread, that's how you do it. And this is a little bit of juice that left for the people if they want to add a little bit of spices to their food. So um, I enjoy it very much to making it and I'm pretty sure we're gonna enjoy eating it. And thank you so much for watching. And I really appreciate if you, this is the first time you're looking at my video, subscribe and follow the rest of the ingredients that I have. It's a, we have so many. And uh, I appreciate the people that support me. And thank you so much. Till next time with another dish. Bye.